Hey guys, welcome to Ancient Amnesia Podcast. This is Josh. I'm back with another quick clip show. Today, talking about the lost city of America near Arkansas that scientists have found the 17th century Spanish conquistadors stumbled on that had 20,000 Native Americans, Native, Native Americans called Etzanoa. So we know through some of our research and things that we've been posting that the story of ancient America is something that is just now being uncovered. Uh, Seemingly some of it has been suppressed and we are realizing there were multiple different cultures here beyond the natives. Some going back thousands of years. We have stories from the natives talking about other races being here. We have records and um, journal entries and town hall entries and all kinds of different documents that are stating that giants were pulled up out of the ground, shields, swords, ancient writing. We know there was a huge Bronze Age that some researches and evidence is pointing to the Americas being a place that they were getting this from in Europe. So there may have been trade. There's obviously the mysterious Olmec in the south. So there's a lot going on in these regions that we just do not know about. In the Mississippi Valley, in the Ohio Valley, we have cities uh, much like this, like Cahokia. And near the Serpent Mound, there's dozens and thousands of mounds and burials and uncovered structures, dolmens of a civilization that we know nothing about. So this is just pointing to more of that evidence. This city is a pre-colonial society at the site of Arkansas City, Kansas. It's thought that the settlement was home to 20,000 Native Americans. Its existence has long been rumored and and proof has finally been found. A horseshoe nail and pockmarked iron ball proved the Spanish were there. The findings show pre-colonial America was not all nomadic bison hunting tribes. So here we have it. Native Americans that lived on the continent before the arrival of Spanish conquistadors had advanced proto-cities. Emerging research has found evidence of a mythical 20,000 strong civilization called Etzanoa, which sits in modern day Arkansas City, Kansas. A Spanish horseshoe nail and pockmarked iron ball fired from a European gun provided evidence of a battle between the Spanish and a local population of Native Americans. The city has long been described in folklore and further analysis of the site has revealed clusters of horses of, of houses surrounded by gardens and farms. This agrees with the eyewitness testimony from many historical records of the discovery at Snoa, challenges conventional thinking about what pre-colonial America looked like. So we do have a lot of stuff coming out. And what did it look like? Etzanoa is described as having 2,000 beehive-shaped houses. The Spanish conquistador Juan de Onete reported each was large enough to house 10 people for an estimated population of 20,000. Traditional Wichita grass house is what we're looking at. Translations from a team of experts in 2013 shed light on the trip. And it's looking like what this find represents is totally against what the history books tell us. The Great Plains were originally thought to be sparsely populated, but this suggests that an intricate system of towns and cities dotted the regional map instead. Some artifacts found at the site contained rocks and minerals not found in the local area. The researcher said it's my belief that indigenous groups from the Great Plains traded not only with other groups from the east and west coast, but with civilizations belonging to Central and South America as well. So this is potential trade from civilizations much like the Maya, the Aztec, potentially the Olmec. We had an entire uh, system in the North American continent of trade that go back potentially into the Bronze Age and before. So there's a lot to uncover. I thought this was a good quick clip snippet to help back up the evidence that's out there and keep everybody updated on what's being found. I hope you liked it. Go to ancientamnesia.com for more. Stay tuned. We'll be back. See you soon.